Hello and welcome everybody to a video about my favorite poker chips. These are my favorite chips, all right? These aren't the most valuable. These aren't the best. These are just my favorite. And you'll see there's lots of nostalgia and opinion associated with these, okay? So I invite you to tell us what your top 10 or even top three poker chips are in the comments below. Let us know what you like. It could be just based on value. I know lots of people, money talks, so they're interested in the most valuable chips. Rarity, scarcity, nostalgia, uh, provenance, any number of things, okay? So we're starting with this. This is one of my own personal promotional chips. It was called the Blue Chip Promotional Series made by a company called GPI, the same company who makes Paulson chips for the Bellagio, the win. Now, this was made right alongside those in the factory in Mexico, sent to me with the return address of the Paulson factory in Mexico. How cool was that? These are no longer available. You can't order these, I can't order these, unless you have a gaming license and you have a contract with GPI, like the Bellagio. So if you are an M if you're an you know MGM executive, you could order your own promotional chip. The Bellagio can order promotional chips. But as far as like normal people like you and me, we can't order promotional chips from the blue chip line. We can't do it. These are no longer available. So for me, this has a special place in my heart as kind of my little claim to that amazing company, which is Paulson. Paulson Factory made this. Blue chip. Blue chips also not available to the public. So for me, my own personal, yeah, self-promotion, shameless plug, shilling for myself. That's what I do, you know. Hey, welcome to YouTube. So that's number 10. Number nine is a chip that is currently available. Is it the only? I have one more chip that I think is readily available to the public as a consumer grade stock poker chip, the Tiki Kings, all right? Every time I'm with friends and or family, hey, let's play some poker. John, do you need to bring your Tiki chips? Yeah, I'll get the tiki chips out of the... I got my tiki chips in. Did you bring the plaques? Yeah, I'll bring the plaques. People love these chips. They're just happy. You remember that, that Polynesian theme, that like the like the Islander happy theme? It's happy and sunny and palm trees and tiki king. It's... A, I really like this set, and so do a lot of my friends. So, and family, uh, and kids. They, it's just a... Pie. This is this set, like you know how like a river runs through it. The Tiki Kings run through my life. That's how much I play with these. Number eight. What is going on? All right. So, <laughs> the circle triangles. Uh, so we just moved, and there's a whole bunch of boxes right off screen right here. Somewhere in these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, more than a dozen boxes over there are buried my circle triangle vintage poker chips. Okay, so I couldn't find them so I drew a, a I, I mean I took a photo not with crayon I didn't just use a crayon and draw this either way number eight I made a video about it maybe I'll the video somewhere on this side or that there'll be a you'll see the circle triangles they're awesome used in the sting they just make me happy to look at them it reminds me of that era of filmmaking and it makes me it makes me wonder what life would have been back what life would have been like back then you know before all of this like solving poker and like these algorithms and computer software competing. So anyway, just an interesting time. I like I like the circle triangles. I mean, people like different things, but if the furry lease or whatever it's called, the anchors, there's a whole bunch of interesting classic poker chips. Now, this is the other set that's currently available. So this isn't an exact replica of the so the original rounders chips, Teddy KGB, you know, the original rounders had a, what they call a Roman mold, which is different than this circle square mold they have around here. And the bear was a little bit different, as I recall. I'm not really sure, but other than that, it's pretty similar. It's the same company that made the original rounders chips, classic poker chips, formerly known as ASM. So these are amazing chips. If you're interested in some awesome, awesome stock poker chips, Tiki Kings and Rounders are some of my favorites. Yes, occasionally it gets old, people quoting Rounders all the time. At the poker table, you can only take so much of it before you're like, all right, dude, we heard that. Yes, thank you The for the, you know, we know, all right? And so still, even with all that quoting, I love this set. I have more of them kicking around here somewhere. Uh, they come in a, a variety too. Like I'm looking, they have the uh, 
So they have the circle squares, which look like this. And then they also have this curly Q pattern. I forget what this mold is called, but they have, they have a variety you can choose either way. The circle squares are my favorite. So that's the one that's in my list here. Let me roll in the ones while we have the ones here. Beautiful. All right. So eight, seven. Now we're on to number six. Now this is just nostalgia, folks. Buckle up. For those of you who are not from Canada, the correct way to pronounce this is Shania. Shania, that's how the Canadians say it, eh? All right, I'm kidding. I'm going to trigger somebody. Shania Twain needs no introduction with her big black horse in a cherry tree. You see, I'm just all about triggering people today. So, she is not the one who's saying that. Caesar's Palace, $5, promotional, shameless corporate plug. I went to the show. An amazing performance. She is a very excellent artist. She performed very well. Just almost flawless. Yeah, occasionally she's like, oh, I forgot the words, and she just picked right back up just in the middle of the song. It was pretty impressive. Huge respect for Shania as a performer, especially with like her Lyme disease and her jaw. I mean, there's lots of things going on behind the scenes. Uh, amazing performer. Love Caesars. And this brings back memories of just like going to Caesars. It's just a fun place. It's just fun. So many memories. All right. We need to move on because I could talk about Caesars. I can make a whole video just about Caesars Palace. Now, we need to talk about the good old days. How many, was it six, eight, ten years ago? When you could buy a whole set of world top hat and cane. Look at this top hat and cane mold. There's the top hat and cane, the little ring around the outside and the suited, it's the suit top hat and cane mold. I forget exactly how this is designated. It's not like the, uh, I'll, you'll see one here in a minute. So I love these chips. I love the true shaped inlays. These are not circle inlays that are printed. No, they're true shaped inlays. I love that. Love the feel, the weight, the mold, everything about these, the colors, perfect. Just absolutely, I can't speak highly enough about the World Top Hat and Cane poker chips. I feel like it's they're the pinnacle of what we can achieve with consumer grade poker chips. Unfortunately, no longer available. And I look on the after, it's, they're just so expensive aftermarket, not worth picking up. That's one of the reasons why they're in these cases. Actually, now that I'm looking at these, are these in 40 millimeter cases? Did I put these? It looks like that's a 40 millimeter case, doesn't it? These are airtight cases. It looks like I put these in the wrong cases. Either way, not something I'm going to fix right now. These are going to topple. World Top Hat and Cane, a strong number five. Number four is nostalgia. Uh, do you guys remember a place called the Holiday Casino? They might have turned it into a riverboat. All right, now people are thinking like, did on the Mississippi Riverboat? No, it, it's it's on the Strip. It's a building that they kind of put a big wheel out in front. They made it look kind of like a steam riverboat, but it's not a riverboat. It's a landlocked casino. It's across the street from a certain place that ended up being a place called the Mirage. Has anybody out there heard of the Mirage on the Strip in Las Vegas? Huh. This was right across the street. And this is where my family, my dad would always take me to the Holiday Casino all the way up until it turned into Harrah's. And then he would take me to Harrah's because we could look out our window and there was the Mirage Volcano. You know, and he's like, well, why would you stay at the Mirage? Because it's nice, Dad. Why would you stay at the Mirage when you could get the same views right out? And it's like, maybe there's more to it than a view. But either way, I have lots of memories in the Holiday Casino, as the Holiday Casino, and as Harris. So absolutely nostalgic right here. <laughs> I remember seeing these chips and just being like, cool, red, white, and blue, rock on. These are awesome chips. So I'm, I really like this chip. Just family memory, nostalgia, you know how it goes. Moving into our top three. So what are your top three? Can you think right off? Write them in the comments. Why, why are you wait? Why are you watching this? Get down there writing. So number three for me is a chip that grew on me over time. But jo there are no Bud Jones out here. Bud Jones is very similar to this. Bud Jones grew on me. The more I handled Bud Jones, the more I like him. Mapes was the same. I could look at these all day. The way it looks like this was done by an artist, not a computer. The way that the colors, like the red, the blue, the black, the green, every. The more I look at this, the more I'm really stunned with Mapes. So I just, it's just a cool chip. I love those. Number two, speaking of the Mirage, the Mirage, Win era, simplicity, elegant, Polynesian theme, the palm trees, yes, thank you, that's relaxation, the feathery lightness of those palm trees, oh goodness, and now we have to, all right, you guys know, there's, this is no, for anybody that knows me personally, this is no surprise, the Bellagio, Bellagio is the centerpiece of the Strip, Las Vegas Strip, all the bling in the world, the Bellagio is the centerpiece of that. 
nothing can compete with that as far as like prestige. Like you ask people like, oh, name a casino, the Bellagio. Have you heard of the Bellagio? Yes. All right. So the way that these age, the way that they look, the way that they feel, the house mold, uh, I love, I could, I, I made a video about these. I love these chips. Bellagio by far and away, number one on my list. These are the original Bellagio, no longer there. You know, I have some of the new Bellagio. Here's the new Bellagio chips. Here's some wind chips, Cromwell, Sands. There are lots of chips, you know, I'm pouring through looking to figure out what my top 10 were. Key West chips. Here's some art. Here's some more casino chips. Most of them are modern casino chips. I have just cases full of them. So those are my top 10. I'm excited to read your top 10 in the comments below. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this for what it was worth. Just talking about poker chips sometimes. It's just nice. I have an Amazon shop. If you want to support this channel, you can visit my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. You can also support me on Patreon. I'm accepting general support right now on Patreon. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.